keep calm, and pray the Psalms. For Saturday, the last day of the fourth week of Martyrs Day. Tomorrow, Sunday, the doors will be open. We will sing and bring praises to God by the order of matins, the gospel for the day. It's from Matthew, the 21st chapter. But the scribes and the Pharisees asked Jesus, by what authority does he do these both healings and miracles? The authority he has to forgive sins comes from his Father. Comes from the will of the Father to save a lost and sinful world. Doesn't come from an election. Doesn't come from political or military power. It comes from the creator of the universe. And it comes out of his love especially his love for you. So come tomorrow, the doors will be open, 9 a.m., order of matins, where we will sing the praises of our God, joyfully giving thanks to him that he has not forsaken us and not forgotten us. 9 a.m., we'll see you there. But now, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. For the rising of the sun to its setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised. Psalm 61 Hear my cry, O God, listen to my prayer. From the end of the earth I call to you when my heart is faint. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. For you have been my refuge, a strong tower against the enemy. Let me dwell in your tent forever. Let me take refuge under the shelter of your wings. For you, O God, have heard my vows. You have given me the heritage of those who fear your name. Prolong the life of the king. May his years endure to all generations. May he, be, be, may he be enthroned forever before God. Appoint steadfast love and faithfulness to watch over him. So I will see, ever sing the praises to your name as I perform my vows day after day. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and will be forever. Amen. We speak the Catechism, the Ten Commandments. You shall have no other gods. You shall not misuse the name of the Lord your God. Remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. Honor your father and your mother. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not give false testimony against your neighbor. You shall not covet your neighbor's house. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife or his manservant or maidservant, his ox or donkey, or anything that belongs to your neighbor. The Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. O Lord, keep us in your kingdom. Teach us to pray. 
our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Lord God, Heavenly Father, since we cannot stand before you, relying on anything that we have done, help us to trust in your abiding grace and live according to your word. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Luther's Evening Prayer I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have graciously kept me this day. And I pray that you would forgive me all my sins where I have done wrong, and graciously keep me this night. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no foul power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face to shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Amen. You have a good night.